Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Ange today. Bill's not with us today. So Ange, what we're talking about today is East Coast versus West Coast of Florida. Okay. What is better? Who is king? And who's who's who the East Coast is for? Who the West Coast is for? Okay? And believe okay. it or not, there's different kind of people that go to the East Coast and oh, yeah. there's other people that go to the West Coast. I'll throw an example. More people from California, where you're from, go to the West Coast. Correct. West Coast, West Coast represent. Okay. <laughs> East Coast, more New Yorkers, New Jersey, Connecticut go to the East Coast. That's Fort true. Fort Lauderdale and yeah. Miami and that whole area. Yeah. Okay. That's, what's, that's what is happening. Okay. But there is a big, big difference between the East Coast and the West Coast. It's day not, and night. It's 180 degree difference. Day and day night. And, night. And, and that's what we're talking about today. Okay, I'll give you my opinion, because obviously we live on the West Coast, and I could have lived on the East Coast, but I picked the West Coast, and there's really good reasons why I picked the West Coast, and I'll tell you about it at the end of this video, so you know, stay tuned. In the meantime, we're working on some really cool projects that I don't want you guys to miss, so consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and it motivates us, and give it a thumbs up and share. So let's, I made a list over here, of East Coast and West Coast stuff. So basically, beaches. West Coast, where we are, the Gulf side, calmer waters, mm -hmm. white sandy beaches. Oh, yeah. Popular for swimming and sunbathing. Example, Clearwater Beach, Naples. And the water's warmer. And the water is warmer. Yes. And not only that, but, you know, like when you go out in the Gulf, you know, believe it or not, on the boat, for every mile we go out, we're lucky we get a foot deep. I could go out 20 miles and be in 20 feet of water. I know, like right by me here, you, we go out and the shelf is, oh, I don't even know, a half a mile, three quarters of a mile out. And I, maybe it'll get to like four to six feet. You know, it gets gradually a little bit, but then all of a sudden it drops and it drops like 30 or 40 feet. You know, mm -hmm. it's like right through. But you, you can walk out a, a good distance and you're not going to get like blown away because there's no waves crashing on you. It's pretty calm water. So now that you said waves, let's talk about it. East Coast waves, surf friendly beaches. You know, you could do uh, sailing, you know, surfing, Miami Beach, Daytona Beach. You know, people are into surfing. The water is much rougher. Yeah. Well, it's the Atlantic. It's the Atlantic. Yeah. And, you know, you go out just a little bit and you could be in hundreds of feet deep. Oh, within like just a couple hundred yards. Yeah. Yeah. You can go 200, 100 yards out and you're in Well, feet some area, a yeah. couple places by the yeah. Keys you could do that, but not normally. Okay. So. So that's the big difference. I like calmer water. Yeah. I like being able to go out there and have the water be like a big lake. Yeah. You know, and especially on the boat, you Makes know. Makes the ride smooth. Makes the ride smooth and the boat's not going like this, you know, rocking, so. And I, and I like the fishing better on the golf side anyways. Well, there are way different fish over here than what's on the East Coast. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about water sports, okay? If you're into water sports. Paddle boarders, kayaking, shallow water fishing, west coast all day long. Even jet skiing, west coast all day long. Yeah. Because the water is calmer. Okay, east coast, better suited for surf, deep deep sea fishing, boating due to rougher waters. You need, basically the boats are even different. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. the boats in on the Gulf Coast, and I can do a whole video on it, but on the Gulf are way different from the east coast boats, okay? Weather and storms. West Coast slightly more prone to hurricanes due to proximity to the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously, we have shallow, warmer water. What happens with warmer water? The hurricanes get stronger. Yeah, because it's feeding the hurricane. They, it's the feeding the, the water, hurricane. Yeah. Okay. East Coast experience, often experience more afternoon thunderstorms and rain showers. Yeah, it does rain a lot more there. They, they get a lot more rain. Yeah, East Coast. You know, every time I spend a lot of time on the East Coast, you know, at three p.m. you get that you get that rain. You know. Yeah, it rains a lot there. It doesn't even in in our rainy season here. It doesn't rain that much. I mean, it may rain. It, you know, it, it 20 used minutes, to. Half hour. It used to, but like over there on the East Coast, it would would rain sideways at three p.m. Yeah. All right, let's talk about this one. Sunsets versus sunrises. West Coast is known for stunning sunsets over the Gulf. East Coast offers beautiful sunrises over the Atlantic. 
What would you rather see, a sunrise or a sunset? Me, I'd rather see a sunset because I don't like getting up that early. I, that's, well, that's, it, <laughs> well, not only that, but it's like, it, it really is about the sunsets. Like, especially when you go down to the Keys, everyone gathers up to watch the sunset because it looks like it's falling off the earth. Yeah, but even over here where we are, we the, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're in Hudson, Clearwater area. The you cloud know. formations, the, the colors of the sky are amazing. Yeah, so, I mean, the sunsets are beautiful here, especially when we're on the boat, you know? So let's talk about cost of living. West Coast generally lower cost of living with more affordable housing in areas like Tampa and Fort Myers. Now it's getting a little more expensive here, but compared to the East Coast, higher cost of living, especially in major cities like Miami and West Palm Beach. Well, now you got all those issues because, well, everyone's pretty much in condos and townhouses. You know, it's all high rises and those they're expensive now they're a lot more expensive than they used to be and you know if you if you don't want to have your neighbor literally five feet away from you we're here you can get yourself a nice piece of land a nice house and put your boat in your driveway you know that kind of thing or in your backyard and your pool the the, the east coast is living it's more like almost city living because everyone is i mean don't get me wrong the population yeah, yeah yeah well let's talk about real estate a little bit west coast more stable housing market with less volatility. East Coast prices can be higher, especially in Miami, due to international demand and investors' in interest. I mean, they have some beautiful places, like you go to Biscayne yeah, Bay, but, yeah, and it's in the millions but, of dollars, but you know? It's ridiculous. Like, if you even, that your house here that we're recording this, if you take this house and you throw it in certain areas of Fort Lauderdale and I mean, Miami. 15 times what I paid for it. Yeah. It, Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Same exact house. Same exact house. Yeah, I know it's crazy, and not for nothing. But this model house, it's it's over there. They have it. And it's you, standard. Like the builders build them all over the state. Yeah. So. In this development that I'm in, we have 450 houses. Out of the 450, now there's seven different models, I believe. Out of the 450, 48 of them are the same as mine. That tells you a lot. That this this is my house is the most popular house, meaning style wise. Right, but what I'm saying is. Living in Miami is like living back in New York City. Oh yeah, it's expensive. Food, like everything. everything. Yeah, very. Because it's everything. trendy. It's, it's it's trendy. It's like oh, where, where you live, Miami. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's nightlife. Like, Something's always going on. Yeah, that's not for me. I, I like you know bad boys for life. You know. <laughs> population density. Okay, West Coast less dense, East Coast more popular, particularly in major cities, which yeah. is a busy atmosphere. And that's the whole thing is I don't want it. You know, I left if I if I wanted population, and I wanted crowds, and I wanted to be shoulder to shoulder with people walking down the sidewalk, I would have just stayed in New York. That's true. It's same even when I live in California, I was out, out in the outskirts where like you know it was a lot of people living out there, but nowhere near as much if you lived in places like, you know, Beverly Hills or Bel Air or Sherman Oaks or Van Nuys, very populated. You know, I was out in Calabasas, Hidden Hills, where it was you know opened up quieter you know thousand oaks nothing out there so for me the west coast traffic and commute west coast generally lighter traffic and shorter commutes i agree with that east coast heavier traffic especially around miami fort lauderdale the 95 corridor over there is ridiculous it's like being in new york at rush hour trying to get through the tunnel oh man i hate 95 you know on that thing it's just like traffic you know just traffic after traffic you know they, they, the East Coast was built the way they built Manhattan. Like they put up a lot of buildings very close and they densely populated it. And when they started building on the West Coast, they learned from the East Coast. And they, they, they slow, like we have a, a limit on how high things can be here. You know, how high like a, a hotel can be, you know, in, in certain areas where they can only go like three stories. You know, if you go down to Clearwater on the beach, yes, they can go higher because it's a tourism thing. But if you were to build a hotel here in my area, I believe it, my area here can only go up to two stories. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about this one. Job market. West Coast. Growing job market in sectors like healthcare, tourism, and technology, which is true. Tampa is starting. Especially for the healthcare, because they have really good healthcare system. Yeah, we here. have Tampa General Hospital yeah. and stuff like that. East Coast, diverse jobs opportunity, especially in finance, hospitality, and trade with a focus in Miami. Yeah, Miami's going to be the financial mecca of the world pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to want to be there, and it's it's already happening. You know, it's already on the move. 
Okay, here's another one. Culture diversity. West Coast growing diversity, but more localized culture scenes like Tarpon Springs, Greek Town, you know, yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Good, amazing restaurants. <laughs> yeah, so like we have, we have pockets of that, yeah. you know, like, uh, uh, St. Pete, you know, like Cuba, you know. Yeah, it, well, I get it. it we're, but that's actually a pretty damn good thing because as like, you know, someone who you get to jump around to different places and check it out. Yeah, East Coast, more international influence, especially Miami with a strong Latin American Caribbean culture. Yeah. There's a lot of play. Like it is different. It's it is. It's a way different type of person on this side. And and I'm not trying to say it's like a, a good or a bad or a good or versus evil kind of thing. It's just like this is this is more family oriented over here. There's a lot more families on the West Coast. Um, like you know your neighbors. You know what I'm saying. Like you actually talk to them. Uh, the East Coast. I, I, I've spent time on the East Coast. I didn't know anybody. And I was there for a while, and I was like, I was in a condo building, and I didn't even know the people that lived across the hall from me and next to me. I had no idea who they were. Really? Yeah, nice. none. All right, tourism and attraction. West Coast known for family-friendly attractions like Bush Gardens and the Dolly Museum in St. Petersburg. Okay, I've never been to that one. East Coast, more nightlife, entertainment options, especially in cities like Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, because, well, those are big tourist meccas. Yeah, you know? but like Tampa, like we have, we have the Hard Rock in Tampa and they have the Hard Rock in Fort Lauderdale or Hollywood over there. Yeah. You know, but other, but nightlife, East Coast all day long. Yeah, and if you're down in Miami, but if you start going down to like, you know, um, Sarasota and places like that, they, they have a good, but it, but it, it's really weird. It closes at nine. No, but what I'm saying is, it's, but it's more like a Nashville kind of vibe, you know, because it's like everyone's in a bar hanging out, and they they could be dressed the way you and me are dressed right now, having a good time. And you go to Miami and Fort Lauderdale when they go, everyone's dressed up, you know, and they're, they're, they're Sunday best, so to speak. Like, they're looking really good. It's a way different mentality. Okay, outdoor activities. West Coast offers extensive nature preserves, state parks, Everglades for ecotourism. True. We yeah. have a lot of parks and stuff oh, we like that. We have a nature. lot of, like, you know, state East land. Coast, beach life, ocean based activities, coastal city attractions dominate. Well, yeah, I would agree. Put it this way, they both, both sides have, you know, a lot of stuff for tourism. I mean, East Coast Orlando, they have Disney, you know what I'm saying? Universal. What about this one? Nightlife. West Coast, quieter nightlife through places like Tampa has a vibrant bar scene. East Coast, Miami is famous for its nightlife attractions, people from around the world. Agree with that 100%. Yeah, I've been down to, to, to Tampa. And uh, yeah, and I've been, cool. I've, I've been to Miami, you know, plenty of times and stuff. Not for nothing, but I would never, because I'm older now, I, I want the quietness. Well, Miami is is really for like a young a nightlife as a younger crowd, like you know in their early twenties into the like maybe mid thirties or something. But it's also very trendy. Everyone's like you know dressed in their Gucci and their Zenia and whatever else they're wearing. And we're more about like old navy and uh, sketches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dining and cuisine. West Coast known for seafood, Cuban influences, unique Gulf Coast flavors. West Coast. I see that. You know, we have Greek Town too. East Coast, wide variety of international cuisine, especially in Miami with Caribbean, Latin, and international food options. It's true. Down in Miami, every corner is whatever you want. I could see that. I could, because Miami is an international mecca. Yeah. All right. How about this one? Educational institutions. West Coast, home of the prominent university like University of South Florida, USF. East Coast includes prestigious schools like University of Miami and Florida Atlantic University. Now, I know a lot of people that um, that live here, their kids went to Miami University and they said it, they had a really good time, it was a good school. University of Miami is a great school, as is uh, University of Tampa down here. But anyway, any school is good if you're going to engage in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all about the student. You know, they offer what they offer, and if you're going to engage, you have a great time. You go up to Gainesville, Jacksonville, you know, you go Orlando. You, there's so many schools. Uh, too bad there's not a university in Key West. The University of Key West, where you just hang out on the beach all day and drink little drinks with <laughs> umbrellas in them. <laughs> that would be the most populated school. Community atmosphere, West Coast, laid back, 
slower pace with strong community vibes. Yes. I agree with that. 100%. East Coast, fast paced, diverse with more cosmopolitan. Yeah, it's like being in New feel. York or in New York or like, you know, parts of like LA. You know, where it's very, I don't want to call it transient, but like you don't get to know anybody. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. yeah. Healthcare access, West Coast, good access to healthcare with top hospitals in Tampa and Naples. They do have really good hospitals. They do. I know that for a fact. You know. Well, the, the University of Miami has a great hospital down there, you know, but that's if you're living in that area. East Coast, high quality healthcare options, especially in cities like Miami. Okay. Now, we're up to family friendly options. <laughs> West Coast, known for family friendly areas, activities, slower pace, appealing for families. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. East Coast, while busier, it still offers family attractions. However, Miami is more popular with young professionals. Yeah. If you're a young professional, you want to be in Miami. You don't want to be here. Yes, yeah, without a doubt. It's, it's a trendier place. You know, it's a, you got to remember, these, these are people who are out, you know, they work all day long and then they're out all night, you know, partying, jumping club to club, you know, bar to bar, scene to scene. Yeah, that's not me. Yeah. Cost of travel and accessibility. West Coast regional airports like Tampa International provide access to fewer direct international flights. East Coast, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale have major international airports offering more direct flights globally. It's true. Well, they, they were there first. Well, no, a few times when I flew overseas, I would have to I, I would have to change in Fort Lauderdale or Miami. Yeah. So that that's true. Here's a big one. Retirement appeal. I guess this is the one for us. Okay. West Coast, popular for retirees due to affordability, relaxed pace, and nature. East Coast attracts retirees too, but younger crowd in areas like Miami that has a lively feel. But but if you're if you're young, you're not retiring. Well, if you have a lot of money, I guess you're retiring. <laughs> so why am I on, why would I pick the West Coast all day long? Gulf of Mexico. I like calmer water. I like fishing. I don't care that things close at ten o'clock. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm up all night long. Yeah, but I go to bed early. All right. I need a more laid back atmosphere. Okay. I'm the, the party scene. The bars. You no. Know, I'm not one of those people that you go in a bar and the music is so loud that you have to scream to the person that's yeah, I standing don't a foot away from you. Those days are over. Those days are over with. Remember yeah. we used to do it in a place called Speaks in Allen Park? Oh, forget it. was all those bars. We used to do Channel 80, Speaks, oh, all those bars. It was so things. loud. You just, your mouth was moving and nothing was coming out of it, you know? It was yeah. Like, and the other person you would talk to was agreeing with you. Yeah, they had no <laughs> idea what you're saying because it's so loud. Those days are over. I cannot handle crowds like that anymore. Now, I, I, don't, I mean, I, I was never a crowd person. You know, so yeah, I just I totally agree with you on that. So, what? Why you like West Coast better than East Coast, or do you like the East Coast better? No, I don't like the East Coast at all. Um, I mean, I I do. I mean, I'll if I go there, it's nice and so nice to visit. You know, I wouldn't want to live there. Um, but the West Coast of Florida is very much like the West Coast of Los Angeles or California, um, like Southern California, where it's like beachy community. It's kickback. It's flip flop and shorts. Like, quick question. When's the last time you wore a, f a full pair of pants, meaning like real pants and not shorts? I think last, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before I went to church. All right, so we're talking, were... you haven't worn pants, actual slacks, jeans, slacks, whatever you want to call them, in two years. Think about that. Well, if it's really, really cold out, I probably just won't go out. <laughs> What's the odds of that happening here? Put it way, I haven't worn pants. I've lived in California. I, I, I would only wear pants to the set when I worked. And it's because I just thought, you know, you have to go up there in a certain look. But when I wasn't working, I was never in pants. And then when I moved here, I've only worn pants once since I've been here in the, the two well, years. Well, I wear shorts because obviously I'm a home inspector and then I have to go up in attics when they're 130 degrees. But if it's cold out, I'll still wear shorts, but I'll wear a sweatshirt, pullover. See, but that see, and that's the thing. Like, I would think that if I was hadn't climbed in someone's attic, I would want to be in pants because I don't know what I'm getting myself up in there. No, you don't want. You, you know it, it's so freaking hot out there that. You just but pass but out. that just goes to the, like the whole like if you look around at everyone we see, everybody's in shorts. 
They're in shorts, they're wearing, t-shirts, yeah. hibiscus plant, you know, short sleeve shirts. You know, it's it's very but beachy. You're, you're gonna see me with sneak in the winter. You're gonna see me with sneakers, shorts, and a big ass oops, sweater. Yeah, but and yeah, that's but because you, pullover. you well, that's because your body is acclimated to this weather, and when it drops to 60, you're freezing. And it was the same thing when I was living in California. You know, so it's like you know, I'm I'm cold, but. This to the attraction to me here was this is almost exactly like if you're down to Redondo Beach, Seal Beach, Manhattan Beach, any of the beaches on this in Southern California is just like living here. It's the same weather. Just the only thing that's different is the humidity. They still have the dive bars and the little the seafood restaurants, all these little places. They have all these like all right, you have go to Tarpon Springs, it's you know the Greek restaurants. Down there, it's all the Mexican ones. So it's it's very similar. Very that's why you see a a, a giant influx when people leave California, they move to the west coast of Florida. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Anyways, what do you guys like? You guys like the East Coast or the West Coast better? Put put it below. I'll actually put a survey out. Yeah. Let's, let's see what let's, they like. Let's, let's put a survey out before we post this video and see what people think West Coast or East Coast is better of Florida. In the meantime, watch this video over here. I picked it out just for you guys and consider subscribing. It really helps on the channel and we're coming out with some really, really cool videos that we're working on and we don't want you to miss it. Give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day. Peace.